Hey everyone, so I'm just finishing a bunch of paintings and uh, you know, you, you look at them and you're try, trying to make these things as good as you can and you always compare like, well, what was my last show like? And I'm looking at these and you know, you, you always fall short, but I mean, I definitely feel like I've gotten some stronger work and, and, and I've taken some new territory, which is the most important thing. You know, we're ne we never fully arrive, right? But um, uh, I'm really interested in this, and, and that's what I want to talk about today. This idea of, of how do you go from kind of a, a good place, and, a, you know, like you get this art thing going, and you've been doing it a number of years, and, you know, everyone likes what you're making, but it's still important for you to take it further all the time. You know, it's like being good is, is okay and it's great. And for many people on the outside, they would, they would love that. But how do you go into, you know, beyond excellent and, and into this higher place of, um, and, and that's where all the magic happens. And, and it, you know, you can touch it sometimes. I feel like sometimes I'll, I'll get something, part of one painting is like, that's so good, that part, you know? Um, so that's what I wanna to talk today. And I, I think it's best I can sort of diagram this out for you. So check it out. Okay, so um, how I sort of think about it, and it's been described in different ways, is you've got this, you've got these levels. And, and when we come in, you know, come into something we haven't done before, you know, a person's entering this world, um, it, this is, there's no skills here. And this is a challenging time. This is learning, right? We're learning. And some of you on this call, um, listening, um, you know, you, it's all about this and it's, it's challenging because you've never done things before and you're learning color and you know, all that stuff. And, and then you kind of, you start to gather these skills and you, you actually, become fairly competent here. And, and this is great because it's kind of like a, a little bit of like, you know, on this ladder, you know, there are these steps and it's nice to rest in here. You know, you get to rest a little in here and you start making things that you kind of like sometimes. It's still pretty hit and miss. And um, I know that a lot of, we get a lot of really good, competent people that enter our um, creative visionary program. You know, this is this sweet spot in here where, you know, how it's hard to go from here into here. And this is, this is more excellent, right? This is, this is pretty good, you know, and what can happen easily is this is such a challenge to go into here. It takes a lot of work and, you know, maybe a lot of money even because you're buying materials and you're learning from other people and you're taking programs and workshops and buying books and, but at some point, you hit this and it doesn't take too long to be in this really good, excellent place. And the, the missed opportunity or the, or the, what's common is you stay here. You stay here because things are excellent. Who has a problem with excellent, right? This is really good. And people on the outside, like I remember when I was, um, you know, surviving as an artist and more than surviving actually i was doing pretty strong work i was selling enough of it to to you know pay my rent and my food and i didn't have to hold another job and everyone you meet would just say wow you know you're doing this you're an artist and you love what you're doing and you you're it's it's just so good so everyone on the in the world is telling you how amazing this stage is and to go up into here, which is what we call your genius. This, this thing isn't talked about a lot. It's certainly not understood by the people on the outside of you. They're just so impressed. You don't get feedback that there's more than this. And actually it's even hard sometimes to, to expect or or believe that you deserve more than this. This is what often happens here. We feel like, who am I to ask and to take this to a higher level? But this is what I'm talking about. This next level here for so many of us, um, this, is, this is like life work. This level is about when we're um, really, really in the zone, 
when this kind of work is much, much more enjoyable to do for ourselves. It's narrowed down. It brings us into the present. It re- connects with people more. And it's, it is more of us than just where we've come from, right? So this is, a, this is a, an important but often missed stage that we get to ask for, even though things are going really great. And how we get here, and I just want to give you the kind of prompt, like how you go, you know, how you move through these, and especially to this excellent, to this genius um, place, is by asking the question, what is it that I love doing? What do I love? Right? This question is everything in your art, in your life, and to be keep adjusting this excellence to make it more and more like this. And this is life work, right? This is what we spend most of our life doing. This goes fairly quickly, but then moving into here, this is the big big opportunity. And asking yourself, what do I love? What do I love about what I'm making now? What parts do I love about the art I'm making now? that will, um, that I can move forward. What parts can I let go of? So I'm in this, so it's aligned more with who I am and who I sense I'm becoming. And I'm, there's more energy around it because I'm passionate about it. This is an exercise. This is a, a working thing to do this. We have to let go of limiting beliefs about what's possible for ourselves in order to move into this. Anyway, I just, I've been thinking about this a lot because, because I'm, I struggle with it, right? And, and, and wanting, always wanting to go further with this. And that should always be there, I think. So let me know in the comments what you think about this, you know? How far away are you from your zone of genius? How far, how much further can you take it to where you absolutely Like, what could it look like? How can you, is there another 10% you can take this to make it so friggin' fantastic? Let me know in the comments, and uh, I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear what, I'm sure everyone else would as well. This week, coming out on Wednesday, I've got this incredible interview that I did with best-selling author Gay Hendricks. He wrote this book that I read last year, called The Big Leap, and it's all about this. It's, he, he works with um, you know, Grammy award winners and you know, high-level executives and just anyone who's willing, is interested in moving out of and moving into this zone of genius. And it's his word, this is his description of it. Going from excellence to this genius level, and we have a really great conversation about it, and it completely <laughs> relates, uh, obviously, to your life, but also your art, both need to shift. Anyway, I'd love for you to check it out. Those come out on Wednesdays and uh, there's a link down below. You can click so you can subscribe and check it out. And um, so that's one thing. And the next thing is day after tomorrow, Tuesday is Giving Tuesday. This is, it's such a great, um, it's, it's such a great moment every year where um, organizations and people figure out ways uh, to give thanks and give uh, appreciation and give to organizations and people in need. And we're auctioning off a couple paintings uh, that we did in the Art to Life workshop in Mallorca this year. We have two large paintings. Uh, They're on linen. Um, They were all created by myself, Terry Froelich, and all the the members of that week. (laughs) There's about, uh, I think, 14 the first week and 15 the second week. They're signed by everyone on the back. And these were really cool paintings that um, we made just as an exercise, but we started really early and they just got better and better. And they're really, really cool. They're really cool collaborations. If you go to our Instagram right now, and there's a link down below, um, you can see a little video about it. Um, It takes you to that post. It's just a bid and all the proceeds are going to go um, to the organization or um, nonprofit or charity that the winner <laughs> or the, the winning uh, buyer of the painting 
they get to choose. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I hope you can participate in that. And um, yeah, and that's it. So thanks for being here and I hope, uh, hope you can check it out on, on Wednesday. Um, there's some cool links to some amazing books he's created. He's just come out with a new book um, as well. But um, this Gay Hendricks is a pretty amazing uh, uh, coach. And um, it was a really awesome to talk to him. So I hope you can enjoy that as well. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you soon. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please. Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.